Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I can barely see you guys. They kind of moved everybody apart, but we'll try to communicate. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to uh, submit a letter from the Massachusetts Attorney General for the record. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, gentlemen, does anybody, anybody at this table think that five or ten years from now the data security, the issues and the challenges you face will be the exact same that you face today? Does anybody believe that to be true? Technology is changing so quickly, Congressman, that I think it is highly unlikely that uh, the issues will be exactly the same. I yeah, I think it is highly unlikely. I, I mentioned in my um, written testimony the example of several apps that now exist that allow you to photograph a, your physical keys to your house and your car. That is um, great. Well, you know, thank you. I, I, like I, didn't, I don't think so either. But then again, I don't know much about technology. I struggle with a cell phone and, you know, that is life. But the one thing I do know is that something is going to be changing. And, and I, my, I guess I raise the issue because to advocate for a congressional solution with no ability to change a year, two, three, four years from now when the problems change, except to come back to Congress, you are sitting here today because the Congress is last to the issue. States are first to the issue. Like in most issues, the Federal Government is oftentimes the last one to the fight because we are the biggest, we are the most diverse, and that is the way it always has been. And yet you are advocating for a situation that we have one great, let's assume it is a fantastic law that has no ability to be upgraded through regulation, which is why we have regulatory bodies, because they can act quicker than us, except to come back to us and ask us to do this all over again, which in and of itself to me is the main problem here. But the other issue I ask, do, I don't know where any of you live. But I'm going to presume that since I think you're all part of associations and like that you must live in the general Washington area, at least have an apartment here, do you think that the Federal Government, the EPA, should tell the State of Maryland that they have to live only to Federal standards on their drinking water? That the State of Maryland would then be totally preempted from saying, no, 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 we like a little less arsenic in our drinking water? than the Federal Government requires and therefore would like to do it. Do you, do you think that the State of Maryland should be told, sorry, you can't do that? Well, Congressman, I spent seven years in the great Commonwealth of Massachusetts, uh, had the pleasure of living there for a long time. And I think you raise a, a, a very important question, and that is, how can we bring uniformity to an issue that has nationwide implications? and indeed international implications when we are talking about cybercrime, uh, without interfering important. with the power of the, the, the Commonwealth of well, Massachusetts. Not just the power, the responsibility, as I look at it. I actually like the idea. I am very happy that we are talking about Federal standards. Um, I have gotten in trouble on a regular basis because, you know, what the heck, I am a Liberal Democrat. I am all for Federal regulation. My friends over there, they know it. I would regulate everything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, but then again, I didn't know that some of my friends on the other side apparently want to join the Socialist Party. I didn't, you know, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Bernie Sanders has cards. You can sign up. That is my problem. I, I don't have any problem. I love the idea of creating Federal standards and a Federal floor, but I, I like two other things. I like flexibility in that because, let's be honest, most members of Congress, we are not technologically capable. I mean, I know some guys here, but every one of us fumbles with our cell phones. I mean, I call my staff all the time. I kick the damn things. I drop them. My, my hell, this is broken seven times because I throw it. You know, and I know none of you have ever done that because you are technologically capable. We need flexibility. We need the ability to move quickly because whatever the threat is today is going to change tomorrow. That is the only thing I know. That is right. And, Congressman, I would, I would submit that ETA, on behalf of the payments industry, supports the approach that uh, Chairman Nagabauer and Mr. Carney have taken in this bill because it has the exact flexibility you are talking that's, about. That is critical. It does not dictate any technical standards and, in fact, uh, makes very clear that it is not up to the Federal Government to dictate how we protect data security, but it is a requirement of the Federal Government right. that security be implemented. Well, we also have to have somebody who knows what they are talking about, not necessarily the United States Congress, number one. And number two, I, I really don't see why you would want to take away the ability of the States to be more flexible than anybody else. Help, holding to a minimum standard? Absolutely, totally agree. I, I, and again, I mean, I, we have the same issue in everything that we do. Every financial issue we deal with, we deal with this issue. How much of a Federal standard, including, you know, we deal with insurance every day. Insurance is totally regulated at the State level, and every time we come close to even thinking 
about the federal involvement. Everybody gets all worked up because the states do it. And I, I strongly suggest the concept is right. The approach needs to be significantly changed on those two issues to provide flexibility, number one, and to maintain the state's ability to deal with they want as they see fit. Thank you. Very much. I thank the gentleman. And